want to thank you uh, for joining me here today uh, because I want to make a statement on a controversy that is surrounding not only our great city to the south, Hudson Valley, but all of this country. So thank you for being here today. I'm Vincent Lybell, and I'm the ranking minority member on the Committee on Homeland Security, Veterans, and Military Affairs. I'll just go back and give you a little recent history. A few months ago, in that capacity, I had the opportunity to speak and debate on the state senate floor. And at that time, we were discussing the issue of trying terrorists in Lower Manhattan. We carried the day. We sent a resolution to the Attorney General in Washington. And while that issue isn't completely dead, I think we certainly have made a significant amount of progress there. I didn't win any friends in the Justice Department in Washington. But nonetheless, we had an active debate on that issue. Today, there is another controversy that is concerning the Lower Manhattan area, receiving also much local and national attention. That is the construction of a mosque in Lower Manhattan. In fact, a $100 million Muslim center and mosque. Last Saturday, President Obama weighed in on this controversial issue defending the right of Muslims to build a community center and mosque near Ground Zero. But he said he would not comment on the wisdom of that particular project. Well, I am here today to comment on the lack of wisdom in building that mosque near the World Trade Center. As we all know, the World Trade Center is hallowed American ground. For those Americans who are alive today, and for those who will come into the future. There is no wisdom in building this mosque at this location. It is insensitive, it is uncaring, it needlessly offends and I might add to all those public officials who have said they support this construction and talk about our country and its history, we do not need to prove our religious tolerance to anybody in the world. And please stop apologizing for my country. Around the world and around this nation, our cemeteries filled with our sons and daughters who gave up their young lives fighting for those same principles. We don't have to prove anything to anyone. They did it for us. I don't want today to be politically correct. We all know that this is much more than about people building a mosque. This is a statement of power rather than about faith. As we move ahead on this issue, there are some, including the governor, who I think graciously said, let me find you an alternative site. And he was rebuffed. We don't even wish to speak to you. I today then will give you an alternate suggestion. To those who, with good intent or otherwise, wish to construct $100 million worth of new construction for a mosque in Lower Manhattan, let me give you an alternative thought. I would like you to commit that money to seeing religious tolerance and the protection of women and children throughout the Muslim world. Amen. I know my own country's record for religious
religious tolerance. I would like you now to look elsewhere and see what the rest of the world is doing. We are here today on this street, and we have Jew Methodist, St. James Catholic, Mount Carmel, Baptist, on this one street. I would like the same commitment from these people that these churches, as well as Jewish temples, could be built in Iran, Iraq, yeah. Yemen, Saudi Arabia, Afghanistan, and Pakistan. That is where the fight for religious freedom is. When they have done that, when they have made the commitment I'm calling for today, then I will believe them that they are interested in religious freedom and cultural diversity. That is my statement for today. This is a pressing national issue. And when I debated on the floor of the Senate about having the terrorist trials in Lower Manhattan, which one of the top officials in the CIA, in, in response to my question, in a private meeting, said to me how dangerous it was to have those trials there. When we are going to be politically correct, understand as I said on the Senate floor, we will do that all the way to the cemetery as a nation. This is a time to stand up, be courageous, do the right thing, tell these people, we will back you, but we want you to go and fight in the rest of the world for religious freedom, as our boys and daughters and girls and sons and children have done for generations. Do that for the rest of the world. Thank you.